Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie, we're gonna look at the latest additions to the marketplace for Flight Simulator 2020, the PC version, and specifically, we're gonna look at the latest deliveries and aircrafts which are being added. If you're more interested in the uh, training flights or more interested in scenery or airports, then have a look at the description of this video, which contains the links to those videos. We start with the 777 Immersion Pack by uh, uh, Wackwack42 and this one contains uh, new visual effects for the 777 aircraft, right, the Boeing we're talking about, uh, created by PMDG as well as the Captain Sim series ones. And the Captain Sim is, I would say, wide variety. So what's included? 90 custom uh, visual effects, the swirling constraints, the condensation effects, the wastewater drain, the engine cold start, the fuel jettison, and a lot of other cool things but they only work on these airframes, so keep that in mind. Once you bought a package, and of course, assuming that you've got one of those aircrafts, you can enjoy these nice visual effects, which will make the flight more enjoyable and more realistic, of course. So have a look at it and then decide if you want to buy this one. Then the next one is a new airliner in the airline fleets from perfect flight right the airline fleet is a series which they developed where they develop uh let's say real cool liveries both the model ones the classic ones but also the retro ones for uh, airliners in this case air canada and you will get liveries for the inibuilt a320 the boeing 7478 the boeing 78710 as well as the Douglas dc3 so don't be misled by these labels on the top because that's not 100% correctly in this case. And if you apply that, then you will get these nice liveries, right? So the older ones and then slowly moving to the newer ones, both for the Airbus, but also for the Boeing, as well as the Douglas DC-3, which are included. And that's really nice because now you can use those nice Air Canada liveries on multiple aircrafts, which are included in Flight Simulator. Keep in mind that for the Boeing 78710, you need to have the deluxe version. It's not included by default, uh, but hey, that's it. Then the next one is from Jet Studio. The Jet Studio 10 middle liveries for the Boeing 78710. Uh, this adds 10 liveries for the uh, Boeing aircraft. Uh, and then you will get a nice metal liveries. It updates the default liveries uh, to metal ones which includes also the KLM one. In this case, I think KLM is the only one. Maybe there's another one. So let's have a look at the uh, screenshots. So also livery one, and we see Pacific Airlines. So pretty nice. Well, one more then, right? World travel, and then the latest, the Mystel Flight Simulator one. The same thing was done to the PIT S1S. This one is a little bit special because you need to have both the Asobo aircraft PIT S1 Reno aircraft as well as the uh, Reno uh, liveries. And uh, you will get 20 new liveries for these aircraft. So that's pretty cool. And here are some examples. Also, you can see the metal view again, uh, developed again by Jet Studio, which is, I would say, on its way to become, I would say, almost a weekly contributor to the uh, marketplace, especially using those uh, metal liveries. So, scripting two. So, nice. Then we're already at the end because this is the last item. It's the Piper Cup G3C65 created by the Classic Aircraft Simulations. It's an aircraft which is a renowned for its distinctive high wing tail dragger design and exceptional low speed performance. Uh, you can also see that it was used during the Second World War under the designation of the L4 Grasshopper, uh, serving primarily in flight training and reconnaissance roles. Uh, if we look at the things which are included, it's a lot, right? You've got the hand prop start procedure and en engine start simulation. You've got the EDO 1320 straight float uh, variant, the Tundra variant, as well as the engine uh, oil consumption and the engine damage and failure are included so your engine can also be broken besides that you can also break the landing gear if you land too hard if as you can see 
And there are a lot of configurable things, and those configurable things can be done using the tablet. That's what we see a lot of developers are doing. They allow you to set certain settings or configurations for the aircraft using the tablet. Uh, synchronous high dynamic range engine styles, as well as the animated passengers, are in also included. And if you have all of that, then you will get this aircraft. You can see the cockpit is kind of pretty simple, but here you can see the uh, the what is it? The tablet, which allows you to configure the aircraft. Uh, also, a lot of cool things because you can also land on the water if you're selecting that that one. And as you can see, based on the screenshot, it also looks like they included multiple liveries, uh, so you don't get only one livery, but multiple liveries for this aircraft. And if you look at details like this, well, then it's almost a no-brainer to, bu to buy it, especially for the price. And with that, we're already at the end of this video, uh, because we discussed five items, because this one will be discussed again in the training video. So have a look at that video if you want to see okay, what's new in this package, also from Perfect Flight. Again, here is this video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my video to stay up to date, or to my channel, I should say, to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting. Again, thanks for watching, and I wish you happy flying.